What's good, everybody? My name is Valor. Welcome back to the Mesa Workbench. And we're a bit farther away again this time because this thing is a bit too long for the workbench. Now, this is my Talon Claw with the Tooth and Nail Mini given to me in person by Drac at FoamCon because I backed the Kickstarter because I was really kicking myself for not backing the full size tooth and nail to go into caliber number 69. And I really don't feel like spending that much money to put a metal sear end catch and all that into the other one. So, this is my new primary for BTA. And yeah, I, I, I like this. First of all, it is the Talon Claw made by 55 Samba on Thingiverse. It's basically just a shortened caliber. I'm using the sort of monolithic AR style magwell that was designed for this because I don't really see myself taking apart my Talon Claw too often and if I really need to just swap a spring out for a lighter one, it's just three nuts on the back. And the whole body is printed in this nice sort of, this is actually 3D Solutech real purple, which prints out really nicely and it's cheap to boot. And the red is Premier Iron Red, which actually matches crimson really well. And this is a crimson soaker stock that I had lying around. Uh, in the future, I'll probably add a folding worker buffer tube. But for the time being, this is the perfect length when it's all collapsed up. And yeah, on the front here is a SAB sort of angled foregrip because they released files for that and I like angled foregrips and this one looks nice. I know it's sort of a blasphemous thing to put an SAB product on a Caliburn, but whatever. And on the front is the removable orange muzzle that holds the multi-tool, so if I really need to, I can take it apart. And on the front, the very front, is the scar. And this is just the standard Caliburn scar that I have shrunk down to its short setting because short barrel and everything, even with the tooth and nail mini, um, I still like having the shorter barrel. Uh, no sort of tube over this, just so I can sort of t adjust it on the fly. And I actually strung this up the other night, and it's performing quite well. Like, I like using it uh, fully open with worker darts, and then about a sixth of a twist for dome tips. But yeah, I quite like this thing. There's a little bit of twist right here because of the, uh, the pusher, not, not pusher, the, uh, the arms being covered with the plastic, which I will be replacing these with arrow shafts in the future just to remove a little bit more of that wobble because the plastic is just a little bit loose on the threaded rods. The whole front end is actually quite rigid. It's just that. But yeah, with the full K26 tooth and nail mini, I will actually get you some numbers right here because I actually have a new chronograph courtesy of one of my Patreons, Slater. Big thanks to you, buddy. And this is the same chronograph that Walcom has and everything. So. There are a lot of benefits to using this thing. Let me turn it on. And I got this primed. Let me get one shot through here. 195. 196. And let me double check to make sure the scar is opened completely for max FPS. Yep, it's opened up. Two hundred. Even better. Oh, 999. That's that's because of the light getting into here. 191. 184. I think I might have one or two more shots. I've got one more shot in here. 193. And it will give me my average because it actually will omit that 999 because it actually knows better than to uh, use that whole 999 on there. Got a max of 200.7 just in the test shots, which it could get better with some fresh darts. These are a bit worn. These sort of ended up in my, uh, my dump pouch after the last war I went to. I'll have to bring those back and put them back into the community dart bin. I was getting a 193 average on those six shots, which, you know, it, it's... A little bit of variance, but still fairly consistent. And this is also sort of my review on the Tooth and Nail Mini. I think it's quite nice. It makes the trigger pull nice and crisp, and it means it's not going to break anything. Because I've seen plungers that have actually broken under high spring loads. I don't think you could put a K14 in here, but you know it's meant for K25 and K26. And one thing I did discover alongside Walcom is at Foam uh, at FoamCon, 
if you have sort of beefier palms than I do, because like my natural sort of grip is like this kind of, is if you have more of a open-handed looser grip on there, like if you have a meteor palm or whatever, the seer likes to bite you, <laughs> which is kind of hilarious when you think about it. And also fun, like appropriate, considering who designed this whole system and sells it and all that and slapped his name all over it. But yeah, this is my Talon Claw with the Tooth and Nail Mini. You'll see me playing with this more at BTA and such. I'll probably bring this with me to uh, Ragfest this October because I need a blaster for King of the Hill and such. I'll probably take the scar off and get a folding stock so I can keep this in my luggage, which this is perfect for carrying in your luggage because it's so small. Uh, alongside like, I don't know, a flywheel or some sort. Hopefully TSA won't break this if I fly. I might end up just driving, but that'll be a long ass drive. But yeah. As ever, relevant links down below. I'll, if there's a link to where you can buy the Tooth & Nail Mini yet, I'll drop that down below as well. My name is Valor. Thanks for watching.